few of the problems to consider when converting your system from a carburetor to a fuel injection system is getting the right volume and pressure that you're going to need. We've invited Ken here from Phytech. We're gonna take a look at some of their offerings to help us solve those problems. So this is the original kit that started it all for Phytech, right? Yeah, that's our 40,005 inline kit. The kit's really versatile. It comes with all the parts that you need to put it in. And we keep that as like what we call a standalone kit. So you could buy that whether you're using a Phytech EFI kit or kind of any kit. And this requires a return line, right? Yeah, that requires that you go from your tank to your throttle body or you know fuel rail system and then back to the tank. So talk to me about the noise on it. A lot of people say out of tank pumps can be noisy. So an out of the frame, you know, out of the tank pump is just a little bit noisier than an in tank pump because it doesn't have the fuel and the tank to baffle the sound of the pump. But some of the things we did at Phytech is we have a thing called pulse width modulation. So when you buy a Phytech EFI, we right. have a way to control the voltage to the pump and we could reduce at certain driving conditions like idle and low, you know, low speed cruising. We could turn down the speed of the pump and we could make it a little quieter. So we've got another inline pump kit here. Explain to me what the difference between these two kits are. Well, the reason this one is on the table is because this kit's only available when you buy a Phytech EFI master kit. So if you want to buy one of our kits with an inline fuel system, you know, frame mounted pump kit, this is the kit you'd get. But you know, there are some slight differences that go along with that. Um, the filters require some of the, you know, the EFI hose clamps. We give you some of the parts that go back to get you back into the tank for the return. All of this is high quality billet. You could take the, th the filters apart, wash them. You know, it's the same quality pump. You know, we didn't skimp out on anything. In fact, we give you a little more hose in this kit. So you can go all the way to your throttle body or your LS intake manifold, and then all the way back to your tank. So paired with this kit, that master kit gives you everything you need to update your fuel system. Right, everything for the frame mounted pumps. So take me through the fuel command center. You said that this is one of the easiest ways for somebody to go straight from carburation to EFI, is that right? Absolutely, it's because a guy's got a carburetor on there. They've either got a pump on their engine or they've got an electric pump, but they're running low pressure EFI. Right, and we need to convert that to high pressure, correct? Right, exactly. And guys don't want to pull their tank down. They don't want to change their fuel lines back. You know, guys want the easy way out. So they take the line off their carburetor, they move it over, they hook it to the low pressure in, the tank fills up, a, you know, pumps out high pressure, and they're done. Right, and this is mounted fairly close to the engine, so there's not a ton of plumbing that goes into this. Well, right? yeah, and the plumbing that you need comes in it. It's got the high pressure fittings, it's got the filter, it's got the hose, but you know, there's a couple of things you have to do with it. You know, you do have to run a vent line back to your tank. Right, So and that yeah. means modifying your tank when running a vent line back? Well, or not always. You... A lot of tanks, you know, have a vent line provision yeah. in it. And if it doesn't, you could put a, you know, put a vent line into your filler neck. Right, and not terribly hard to do anything. It's not like terribly that. hard, but you have to do it. If you don't want to do it, send the part back. Right. It's not an option. And noise-wise, comparatively to the inline pump. Oh, these things are silent. Substantially quieter Substantially then. quieter, yeah. So a carburetor guy going over to EFI, this kit makes it a snap, this yeah. master kit. This is the easiest thing to put in. You know, do it the right way, you got nothing to worry about. So let's move on to an area I'm a little bit more familiar with, your surge tanks. These are your G-surge surge tanks. Uh, kind of take me through the differences. Does it matter what kind of fuel pressure it's getting coming into it at all? Well, that's a good question, um, because some guys will be converting these from their existing carburetor system, or they may have an EFI system. But the trick to it is you're gonna be taking the regulator out of it. So you could use a carburetor pump, you could use an EFI pump, but you're gonna take the EFI um, or carburetor regulator remove that and you're going to run your, um, your fuel pump unrestricted. So we're going to be filling this tank up with the low pressure and that could be mounted, you know, straight up and down at a 45 degree angle and, you know, all the fuel's being repurged out. Right. So even if you pick up a pocket of air in your existing gas tank, that'll be purged out right, of this. Right, because it's just going to sit at the top of this tank, right, and the pickups are on the bottom, so you're never getting that air anywhere near the pickups on this. Exactly. You know, if you're hitting bumps, if you're pulling a high corner, if you're going into a slalom or something like that and sloshing the fuel around, you know, this is constantly staying fuel. What about mounting locations for this? Like, in the car, on the frame, in the engine bay, what are we talking about with this? Well, you can mount this thing anywhere. That's the reason why this thing's a little bit cheaper than the command center. We don't supply some of the fittings and hoses and filters that come with it. 
because we really don't know where you're going to mount it. You can use them in a drag race application, in an autocross application, off-road. These things will do up to 1,600 horsepower when used with both pumps simultaneously. Right, if you're using both to feed the motor. Right, but a good alternative for the dual pump is just to have an extra pump ready to go. It's very versatile. And then we've got your street version here that is internally pressure regulated, right? Yeah. The, we only run with the uh, regulator here. We limit those to 340 liters per hour. Great for like, say, an LS application that uses that returnless system. This would work great in that application. For any EFI application. So we've talked about a couple of our other setups. Uh, let's talk about the high fuel. It takes the most to get in the car, but it also offers the most benefit, right? Well, the first thing that you're gonna notice when you put these kits in is that they're super quiet. The pump is just sitting in a bath of, of colder fuel and that's gonna keep it as, as cool as it can. It's one of the better situations for, for your pump's life. Right, and with the mass of fuel, you're preventing that cavitation and heat you other otherwise would have put into that entire fuel system. Exactly, it's less than an inch tall. Right, so really low profile. Yeah, because some of these tanks are stuck really tight up you know, under the floor of your trunk. Right. You know, we've got really low profile on this and one of the other features that we put in there is we've got a regulator built into it. Right. So it doesn't mean you need to run the regulator. You could take that out, uh, put a little block off in it. We put the regulator up on the top so that if you need to vacuum or boost reference it, you could do it. Right. You know, there are some brands out there that have them inside the tank. You can't get to it, you can't boost reference it. The uh, fuel pressure pumps out through the fitting up to the regulator. You regulate it and that's what makes the pressure. Gotcha. Then return back and you can return back to either one of these, depending on whether you want to come down the passenger frame rail or the, um, you know, the driver's frame rail, and back into the tank. Right. Another feature that we have is that the hangers for this are really strong billet. So it's all screwed in, and we make these pretty handy adapters. So the kit comes being able to adjust from six inches, nice and short. You could adjust this down to a 14 inch deep, even put it in like a fuel cell, if a guy wanted to mount it in a fuel cell. Right. And this, this fuel sock helps keep the, the fuel pump fed at all times, right? Yeah, if this fuel sock is touching fuel, it'll pick it up. Right. So are these available in just the single pump offering, or is there a dual pump offering as well? Yeah, these are available in single and dual pump. The difference being the single comes with the regulated option, and the dual, just like the G-Surge, is only available in unregulated. And when we were coming out with this product, the best thing that, you know, the best feeling that we had about this is we thought we had it all nailed. We were happy that we had something a little bit different. You know, it looked cool. It had some of the best features we thought out there. And, you know, we couldn't think of another thing we wanted to add to it. You know, that was the best feeling when we looked down the list of features and we were just like, you know, sat back there and said, you know, I, I think we got this thing nailed. It had everything. It had the internal regulator. You could take it out. We had the, you know, the great pumps. It, you know, was low profile. We had the, the O-ring feature added to it. You know, it was just cool. We, we, had, we take pride in what we do. Thanks for coming out and explaining all this to us, Ken. Appreciate it. And uh, if you want to know more, head over to Phytech's website. We'll see you next time.